So, as some of you guys may already know, we recently had a loss on our homestead. My hoe broke. That hoe broke. That hoe broke. I worked so hard, it wasn't capable of what I was. It wasn't down to be up against what I was up against. And the plan is to head up to Hollister, Missouri in the near future, stopping at the nearest Lowe's that I'm aware of, and pick up a, um, whatever kind they call that, cobalt? What is that, cobalt? And pick up a, a cobalt, I think. There's the one that has a lifetime guarantee. So I'm planning on actually swapping out a couple rabbits with somebody up there and buying a cobalt hoe with a lifetime warranty so that I can work my butt off and uh, without having setbacks like this. So now I have to compensate for my broken hoe. And uh, perhaps it's more efficient, perhaps it's overkill, but neighbor lent me the bobcat. So I'm gonna actually, I keep getting kind of pushed it seems towards working on my pond um, build. I got the hole dug, I haven't progressed on it, but for some reason I'm kind of heading through that general area with some work, and now I'm really got this available, and there's some dirt I had to move around, there's some soil, so it looks like that might be kind of moving up on my game plan, even though it wasn't something I was really intending on working on right now. But then check this out too. Look at that, what is that? So as you guys may know, my garden rocks. My perimeter fence rocks. There's there's rocks all over the place around here. And one man's trash is another man's treasure. One of the neighbors just contacted me and said, hey, you want some rocks? And I thought he had just a handful of them in the back of his buggy, but it turns out it was a dump trailer and the load of rocks. <laughs> Look at that. You know you'd pay on the street for something like that? I mean, seriously, there's places that buy landscaping rocks. But there's some massive ones in here. There's some other ones in here. I was just about to have Monster Truck and me go out with a couple pickaxes back to our rock place and uh, gather some more up for a couple projects we're working on. This should allow me to finish my uh, recent hoogle mound and then I've got to do some more borders around the snake gourd. So excellent, excellent, excellent. Love that. And their other option was dumping it back in the woods. A lot easier to pull in my driveway, dump them here then to drive off through some fields back to the woods and find a spot to dump them. So, worked out good for everyone involved. Love stuff like that. So, I figure, you know what, as long as I've got this here, rather than loading these rocks onto my trailer and then having to unload them, I can just put some rocks on top of there, dump them out. That way I've only got to, you know, load them. I don't have to unload them. And then put them into place there. Oh man! It was deer. I just saw a deer up in this area the other day. Wow, I didn't see that. Look at these sun jokes. Look at that. They nibbled down the tops. See how it's like nice sun choke, sun choke, sun chokes. Oh, where'd they go? Into a deer, that's where they went. And then sun chokes, sun chokes, sun chokes. That was a deer. I just saw one over here. Right over in front of that. And actually last year I did shoot one right out over here with the crossbow. Man, hunting season can't come soon enough. Look at that. Eating my sun chokes. Man. Okay, well, good to know. I've still got a little bit of the perimeter fencing to put on too. So, all right, I'm gonna get some rocks up there. Then we're gonna get scraping, which like I said, will be more efficient. It wasn't my plan, but it will be more efficient. where I'm working on this Hoogle Mound project with the pond behind it and I'm really liking that for a number of reasons. I'm standing on my driving path to get up to the garden so this area in the middle here is actually going to all be phased out in the garden too. But I was thinking if I got this nice long mound running that way I want to run one up this way too. So I've already got a lot of resources there 
and other resources back behind me. I just need to scrape this bare first. So I was doing it with a hoe, which especially when the ground is hard, is difficult. We're just gonna scrape this all down so I can start putting some stuff up for another mound on this side to plant in. And uh, that's the plan. This will actually go a lot quicker than I was planning on it because now I've got the back, or the bobcat. But that's the plan, that's how we're going. Here we go. So we had some technical issues with the bobcat, but look what it got done, right? I've got a little pile of soil there, a bigger pile over there to sort through, add to the top of that mound I'm planting, but yes, while we did have issues, still much easier and better than the hoe for sure. Scraped clear, so then from up over here, the goal is simply going to be Right in a nice long mound. Driving path between, another mound over there. So, all right, was able to deal with my loss. Tomorrow I hope to be back in the hoe business, get me a new one up in Missouri. But show went on, we found a good temporary replacement, and got the job done, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Papa out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper. And I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.